Hello families, this is Miss Gabby from Excel, and today we're gonna learn how to play the digraph game. If you came to school and picked up an activity bag, you will find everything that you need in the bag to play this game. Today we're gonna need our game board, of course, our game cards, our bingo chips, which would be our, our game pieces, and of course we are going to need our instructions, which have an answer key in the bag. Well, now that we have everything that we need, let's go visit my friend, Miss Gabier. She will be teaching us how to play this game today. Okay, families, before we get started with our game, let's talk about digraphs. A digraph, it's a combination of letters that when put together in a word, they make a new sound than its original sound on its own. So let's say, for example, the letter C makes the sound K and the letter H makes the sound K. But together, they make the sound ch, like chair. Let's do another example. The letter P makes the sound p, and the letter H makes the sound h. But together, they make the sound f, like phone. SH make the sound sh, like ship. TH make the sound f, like thief. And WH make the sound w like whale. Digraphs are easy to remember because at the end of its name, you'll find the digraph too. Now, let's go on to Miss Gavier to learn about our game. Hello, hola, kindergarten families. Today, I'm going to show you how to play a game called Digraph Sound Game. All right, so here we go. First, a digraph is a pair of letters that make one new sound, which is different from the two individual letter sounds. For example, C and H make the ch sound, or S and H make the sh sound. T and H make th, as in thumb. P and H make the f sound. So, in order to get started, first you need to make sure that you know what to call each picture on the game board. If you don't, you can always flip the page over to the answer key, which is featured on the back page, and it will tell you how what each picture stands for. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is place, you should have a digraph sound card packet and a bingo chip bag. You're going to place the digraph sound cards face down on the digraph sounds card draw pile. And you're going to place your bingo chips on the start. So if you and your parent, mom or dad were playing with you, you would place, place your two chips right there at where it says start near the shell. So you're going to draw the top card from the pile, say the digraph sound out loud, and move your bingo chip to the next picture that has the same digraph sound in its name. So I drew the ch cheese. I'm going to move my bingo chip to the space where I see the picture of a wedge of cheese. Place my bingo chip right there. Now, if you draw a card like I did with the ch sound and move your bingo chip to the next picture that has the ch sound in its name, just know that the ch ch as well as ph sounds may be found in the beginning middle or end of a word. So you may need to help your child hear the sound by saying the word slowly and clearly emphasizing the digraph. Okay, so if you look on your answer key, you can see cheese has the ch sound in the beginning, but the word Church has the ch sound at the beginning and at the end. And the word 
phone, PH is at the beginning, phone, but for gopher, the PH sound is in the middle. So just make sure you're aware that PH and CH may be found in the beginning, middle, or end of the word. Okay. After you're done, you place your used card on the bottom of the card pile. If a player lands on a space with an arrow, follow the arrow to the new space. So if your child were to land on this space with the elephant and it has a blue arrow, that your bingo chip can just jump right over here to the shovel. Same thing here. Again, if it land, if you land on this elephant with the red arrow, then you can follow the arrow to the new space, which is now you're la you're, you've landed on the sheet. So you skip a few spaces. Thank you, Ms. Gavier. I had a wonderful time learning how to play this game with you. I really had a wonderful time with you today, and I will see you soon. See you next time.